In the previous parts, we've discussed the core functionalities, but today we're talking premium. We're proud to announce we introduced a new feature to the product reviews arsenal. The product group features allows you to A-B test product pages with the same product or build trust on similar products. This is a bonus video following up the product reviews tutorial series. And today I'll show you how to create and use product review groups. Now that you're a product reviews power user, you probably have advanced needs. Let's say you want to improve the conversion rate of your best-selling product. You suspect that the current product media doesn't attract the right customers and you want to unleash its true potential. So you create a new similar product entry in Shopify, but this time with millennial style media and description. But the issue now is that your customers don't trust buying this new old product because they do not yet have the crowd validation from product reviews. However, in reality, you do because your product was already vouched for by the reviews on your initial page. The solution to that? Well, that's easy. Navigate to the product reviews app, go to the groups tab right between products and moderation. And if your plan allows it, you're just a few clicks away from sharing the reviews between the two product pages. Let's create a new group together to show you how easy this is. First, click the create button. Choose the products you want to share the reviews between, click save and close the product selection module. Now, all you have to do is save your group and it's done. You have just created your first product reviews group. Let's check the storefront. Remember how we had 10 reviews on the main product and two on the experimental product? Now we have all the reviews displayed on each of the two products. Both existing and new reviews will be shared between products as long as they are in the same group. You can see how the reviews from the experimental product are now displayed on the main product and vice versa. Of course, there may be situations where you want more control over the direction of the shared reviews. Let's say you don't want the reviews from your experimental product to be displayed on your main page. This is actually easier done than said. From the group settings, click the three dots from the top right of the product image of the main product. The first two options are self-explanatory, view on online store and delete. We are interested in the third option now, hide group reviews. This means that for this product, we will block the incoming group reviews from the experimental page, but the experimental page will keep receiving and displaying reviews from the main product. And notice the small unlink icon displayed below the product. And that's it. Click save and create your next experiment. Let's switch back to the storefront and see what happened after we blocked the group reviews from the main product. You can see on the main product page, only the native reviews are displayed. However, when looking on the experimental product page, we have both the native reviews plus the group reviews from the main product. This way you can maintain the reviews as they are on the main product while at the same time allowing a bit more color to the experimental one. Of course, you can rename the groups to create mental anchors and find them easier later on. Please note that you can create as many groups as you want, but the same product can only be part of one group at a time. A pro tip here would be to keep the native reviews first and the group reviews below. This is why we enable this option by default in the preferences card. But you can uncheck it anytime and the sorting order will be inherited from the general settings tab of the product reviews app. And with that, we're done. If you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If we can help with anything, please let us know. Our customer support team is available 24-7. Thanks for watching and see you soon.